Biodiversity means life on Earth. It is our life support system, our ability to grow crops, to feed and clothe ourselves. Our social and economic systems are dependent on nature. You simply can't have resilient productive systems without biodiversity. Communities have always obtained cultural values, use values, or emotional values from wildlife and nature. So for me, nature can't be about stopping people from using nature. Our challenge is to enable communities to really unlock all of the value of wildlife and other natural resources. Nature conservation has become an issue that a more broad range of people are interested in. Businesses are starting to look at how they can provide solutions so that they can continue to have sustainable growth. How do we change how we view our place in the world and particularly our relation with the environment? What we can do is create the conditions for innovation. Helping people develop new ideas. It's not just technological innovation or scientific innovation, but even innovation in social systems. To me, the bigger innovation in conservation is really to work across sectors. And I think the solutions that we need to be finding involve convening people from the private sector, people from government, people from NGOs and civil society. We have large industry players that are being disrupted by innovators and entrepreneurs that are finding solutions on the ground in their communities that are better. The Luke Hoffman Institute is creating an incubator, a deal flow of new and exciting ideas. We want to link the ideas with the money and help people verify their ideas and reduce the risk that comes with them, help see them grow and have an impact to help those who are sitting on the fringes of this movement to move in. So thinking more in terms of entrepreneurial mindset, business model innovation, as well as technological adoption to act on these projects. The Luke Hoffman Institute can accelerate solutions and build a positive vision. And to really structure systems in a way that they respect and enhance and foster biodiversity. And I think that's where we begin to build trust and good relations. It is about setting priorities. So where could be, for example, priorities? Are they investable? And if so, through what and how? In nature conservation, we tend to use approaches which we've been dealing with for more than 100 years. And we need to find new ways of doing these things that are fit for the 21st and even the 22nd century. I do hope that if we were to meet one year before 2050, we would not be talking about what has been destroyed, but rather how nature has been restored, and at the same time, our societies and our economies are also doing well. <laughs>